Hey everyone, so this video is going to be part review, part rant concerning Modular Fantasy Stylized Human Female by Enhance Studio. So as I've mentioned previously, I'm trying to find just one publisher who I'll purchase all of the characters from for my RPG Hero Diner game. I might have to go to multiple, but I'm trying to do all from one so there's a consistent visual style. And so far, that not has not worked out so well. I reviewed another asset by, I believe it was Luke Box. Yeah, it was Luke Box. And in their case, the animations just don't work. So in this case, the problem is there are no instructions. So the art looks great, everything animates, but the problem is there's just no instructions as to how to actually make these characters. Because what a lot of companies will do, a lot of publishers will do, is they'll just provide you with a bunch of prefabs. Here is Warrior A, Warrior B, Warrior C, have fun. What this does is like, okay, here's the base template, now you add what you want. In theory, that's a great idea. But tell us how that works, because depending on publisher, sometimes they add entirely new menus. They have different approaches. Here, there's like no explanation whatsoever. So I'm going to show you how this works since they couldn't be bothered. Uh, and then, as always, decide for yourself if this is something that you wish to purchase. Because it does work, it's just the lack of documentation and what I think is kind of a shady approach to support, but... That's an opinion, okay? I'm not saying that they're doing anything that's untoward per se. It's You'll see what I mean in a minute. So anyway, so that's the package. So here's the folder. And as you can see, no documentation. You can go through like every single one of these folders. There will be scripts, but that's coding. That's not explanation. There should be a top-level document. I don't care if it's text. I don't care if it's Word. I don't care if it's PDF say how this works okay that is a staple and it's frustrating that they don't do that and like i said i'll explain in a minute why i think they don't do it but what happened is i emailed to them and i complained I'm like i have no idea how to use what i just bought and so what they provided was this now the verbiage in itself should give pause I found a way to create a new working character without using the demo scene. That doesn't sound like something that the publisher themselves would say. This sounds like A, a workaround, which means it's not the way it's meant to work. B, it sounds like it was made by a fan uh, or a member of the community rather than them. I can't say if either one of those are true, but this does not make any sense. Okay, This is like 18 pages of step after step after step. If this is really how you're supposed to make these characters, then I'm sorry, this is garbage. This should be a turnkey solution. It should not have all these things that you have to change. 18 pages of multiple steps. If this is the way it's supposed to work, something's wrong. But again, at least this gave me a clue. They said without using the demo scene. So this tells me that as working as intended, you would go through the demo scene and then I was able to figure out the rest. So this is this big dragged out procedure, which you don't really need to do. So why not just tell us how to do it through the demo scene? OK. So let's go back here. So even though they don't explain it, I figured out. So if you go into scenes and you go to demo. Now, to be clear, very often a demo scene is just that. It's just like a showcase. But here, this is where you're actually supposed to create your character. But you don't do it by running the scene. See, that would make too much sense. If it were me, you'd run the scene, you would choose a set, and then there would be a button that says export, and you're done. But you don't. This does nothing. You can go through the animations. So it's a showcase, but this doesn't actually create anything. What you're supposed to do is up here in Demo Player, if you click on this, what you do is you can then change things here. But because of the naming, good luck knowing which is which, it's going to be trial and error. So you click on the S, and maybe you choose this one. So the hair has changed, okay? 
and then say the chest piece. Say you want, I don't know, this one. We weren't looking at the front, so don't know how much it changed. Let's change it to another. So chest. I'm not sure if you really notice a difference. Um, cape is on the back. So let's actually let's move this over so we can see it. So the color changed. So basically, this is how you make the changes. And then you scroll down to the bottom and you click on Save Prefab. And then you have to choose where you want it to go. So in Save Prefab, you can save it to, say, well, it's already in the Prefabs folder. So we'll call this Test. Save. We come to Prefabs, Test. And there's your character. So does this character work? Well, let's do new scene. Don't save. Put her in the scene. Let's rotate her around. Let's move the camera closer. And she does seem to have a walk animation. Let's go to animator. So it does have a walk. And then what you could always do is if you want them to be idle, you can change it to idle. So it looks like it is working. So the question is, why not include that documentation? It, I, I don't want to keep complaining about the same thing, but that's not that hard of a process. Why not just say that? Why include an 18-page PDF that talks about using a workaround? If the way you're supposed to do it is the demo scene, then just explain that. It's just a couple button clicks. Just explain that, and for whatever reason, they don't. So that gets me to my final point, why they don't explain it. So, again, trying to avoid conspiracy theories and trying to be too cynical. But if you go back to this, okay? If you go to Publisher Support, watch what happens. Brings you to here. So it actually brings you to a marketplace. So I think that's really what they're trying to do. They don't give you the support documentation. That way, when you try to get to support, you wind up going to their marketplace where they can try to sell you other stuff. So I don't think that's a great way to go about this. Uh, it's their choice. But nothing on this even directly screams um, assistance. It brings you to the splash page. It doesn't even bring you to the help page. I see there's a blog up there. Um, I see a guide up there. Why not open to the guide? So this, I think, is one of the worst kinds of support where they're basically, it's not a paywall, okay? You presumably can get support through this page but they're putting it behind a storefront that you have to navigate the storefront. It's like, oh, look at all these shiny things. Maybe you want to buy more from us. So that's just my two cents. That's my complaint that I think the support on this is really, really terrible. So the package actually seems to work after being frustrated, after getting the documentation from them that talks about some kind of workaround, which you don't even seem to have to do. So rather than just explaining the way that it's supposed to work, they give you this big workaround, and then the help page isn't even a help page. It's a marketplace. It's a storefront to try to sell you more stuff. So again, I hate to use the word shady because they can do it. It's not like it's a scam. I definitely would not say that, but I think it's really poor customer service, and that's just my opinion. So as always, you know, uh, if, if you wish to purchase from this company, that is absolutely your choice. But I just want to let you know that this is how you would use this asset and that I think that this is not a great way for them to treat their customers where they can't just give them a simple explanation where they instead have to try to, again, I hate to use the word hide, but they basically put up all these kind of, you know, uh, for sale signs that you have to get through first before you can actually get to the help. So 
Anyways, I think that's about it. So um, I hope that this is giving you guidance. If this is, uh, you know, if Enhanced Studio is a company you were looking at, um, and please do enjoy the rest of your day.